Hi, and welcome to the section on testing our code. In software development, it is very important to test your code and to catch the bugs as early as possible. In the previous section, we learned about Dart Language's advanced features. In this section, we will explain how we can create tests in Dart and also how to automate it. We would be learning unit and browser testing. Also, we will be working with continuous integration tools for Dart. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with unit testing. Writing tests is very important in software development. It will help you understand if there's something wrong in your code. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install dependencies, how development dependencies work, and also how you can write a proper test. In pub.dartlang.org, you can look for dependencies. In our case, we need the package test. Now, let's add it to pubspec.yaml. This package is only needed during development, so this is a development dependency. This test package is only needed when you run your tests. Then, we need to get our dependencies with the command pub get. First of all, we need to give our test a proper name. In our case, we're going to test the factory constructor of the encounter class. We first test here to check if the encounter class is the bear class. Now, let's run this test. We're going to do this by executing the pub run. Then we use test test slash encounter underscore test dot dart. Our test is negative because we have a null value that is being returned. Now we need to adapt our test and see how we could write a proper test. So we can now adapt our test to test something more useful like encounter can be null, or the method when encounter needs to return a string with the length bigger than 5. When we run this test, you will see that it runs successfully. Now these are the basics of unit testing. I will tell you some more possibilities about the testing package. First, one is the possibility of group your test under an umbrella definition. You can do that with the group method of the test package. Here, you will see that we have a group encounter tests. You can define multiple groups. In our example, we have just defined one group. When a test fails, you can see what kind of group it belongs. It will help you to construct your tests. Another great feature of the test package is the setup method. This method will always be called before the test method. This is useful for the setup of other codes and classes. In our case, we can put the instantiation of the encounter class in there. Teardown will always be called after the test method has been executed. This will help you to close connections clean up objects, or to perform other important tasks. So, to recap, first, setup will be executed, then our test, and after that, teardown. In this video, you learned what dev dependencies are, and most importantly, how to write tests in Dart.